After the failed assassination attempt of President Ronald Reagan, John Hinckley Jr. will get full freedom. That ruling by a judge today. New tonight at 9, WGN Shannon Halligan has reaction from one of Hinckley's victims that day in 1981. St. George is now from the newsroom with more. Shannon? Well, for the lawyers representing John Hinckley Jr., they say that this decision shows the fairness of the U.S. justice system. But for the victims, it's an act that they will never be able to forget. March 30th, 1981, President Ronald Reagan was shot in an assassination attempt by John Hinckley Jr. Three others were shot as well, including Secret Service agent and former Orland Park Police Chief Tim McCarthy. Bullets struck McCarthy's lung, liver, and diaphragm. You don't have a lot of good Christian thoughts about the person that shot you uh, and what they could have done to my family and the family of Tom Delahanty and, and the fact that Jim Brady died from his wounds. So. You know, there is the historical part of it, and then there's the part of it uh, with everyone else. But now, 41 years later, the man who shot the sitting president will be a free man. It was a day that McCarthy knew was coming. Well, it was not a, unexpected. I mean, it's been going down this road for many years. A jury found Hinckley not guilty by reason of insanity in shooting Reagan. Since 2003, a judge allowed Hinckley to spend longer and longer stretches away from the mental hospital. A federal judge said Wednesday that the 67-year-old was no longer a danger to himself or others. Despite the judge's decision, it's not something McCarthy or history will forget. I don't know that it's ever going to be over um, as long as he's alive and I'm alive and Tom Delahanty is alive, uh, all of his victims. I don't think it's ever going to be over. Uh, the anniversary will still roll around. Uh, the general public and others are going to be watching Mr. Hinckley very closely for the rest of his life. The Reagan Foundation and Institute issued a statement saying, in part, we strongly oppose Hinckley's release, where he apparently seeks to make a profit from his infamy. Hinckley will be free from all court oversight June 15th. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News.